What's up everybody, I'm Scott Bynal. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we are going to talk about and demo my 2008 Jackson Matt Tuck Signature Rhodes V. Now for anybody out there who follows my channel might remember a video I posted one or two months ago where I unboxed this very guitar. And if you remember that video, I couldn't play the guitar because it was a mess. It was disgusting, it was gross. I didn't even wanna to touch the fretboard. It was covered in gunk and somebody else's bodily fluids. Um, it was nasty. And even if I wanted to touch it, uh, which I didn't, um, I couldn't play the guitar because the tuners didn't work. They were completely seized up. Not to mention the electronics also weren't working. What I came to discover somehow, um, a bunch of the solder joints under the pick guard with the pots and the switch had come unsoldered. I don't know how that happens, but it happened. Um, anyways, the person that owned this guitar before me really didn't take good care of it. It was a mess. Uh, it had its fair share of dings and dents. The uh, tips of the V were completely chipped off. Uh, the paint was gone. The wood was exposed. It was a complete mess. Um, so yeah, it was kind of a bummer that I couldn't play it for you, but I can today because I have fixed this up. I have repaired it. You know, I toyed in that video with the idea of like refinishing it with a pink sparkle or something like that. But what I've decided to do, and based on a lot of comments from that video, was to just restore it exactly how this originally would have been done. And so I did that. So the first thing that I did was clean up that nasty fretboard. It had to be done. I shot some video of me doing it. I'll cut it in and out as I'm talking. But uh, for anybody interested, I actually might cut that into a full video and post it. Uh, if you want to know how to clean a really nasty fretboard, never let your fretboard get that dirty. Clean it up, oil it so this doesn't happen to you. But if you happen to buy a used guitar like me and it's really nasty, I'll share a video to show you exactly how I did that. But what I came to discover once I did clean up the fretboard that there were some nasty cracks in the ebony. Now, this is not uncommon for ebony, but it is more common, especially if you don't take care of your guitar and you don't oil the fretboard. So that was the first thing that I had to address. So to repair the crack, I took it into a local guitar shop. Now, fixing cracked fretboards generally is not like a very difficult job, but it's not something that I want to or can do. So, uh, you know, I'm just like a dumb guitar player. I'm not a luthier. So I took it to a professional, uh, brought it in. They said, yeah, no problem. That's easy to do. I then turned the guitar around, showed them the cracks and I said, hey, what do you think about this? And they gave me a look like, fuck you, Scott. We don't want to do that. And I said, please, I begged and pleaded help me with this guitar and they said okay we'll take a look so they fixed the crack in the fretboard easy enough and they got to work on the tips now these finishes are really thick it's like a thick plastic um, you'll probably see from some of the photos that i'll flash on the screen of what it looked like before take some time you have to build up layers and cure each layer to get it to the right height which they did thought they did a great job now the color matching is not perfect um, it could have been done better I don't really care to be totally honest. I just wanted the finish and the wood to be protected. Listen, believe it or not, matching white when you're retouching or refinishing a guitar is one of the hardest colors to match. Um, there's all sorts of different types of white, so it's not easy to do, but I was pretty happy with the result because um, it's better than what it looked like before. So once I got the guitar back home, I took off the tuners and got to work on those. Wasn't really difficult, some three-in-one oil, sprayed them liberally, cleaned them up, wiped them off, put them back on the guitar. Uh, I opened up the pick guard, re-soldered everything so I got the electronics working again, put on some strings, set it up, uh, the action's nice and flat, and it is ready to go. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so for the nerds watching the video, I'm going to talk a bit about the spec of this guitar. These were made, I believe, between 2008 and 2011, but if I'm wrong, feel free to leave a comment down below to tell everybody how stupid I am for not knowing that, but that's when I believe that they were made. Made in Japan, alder body, neck through construction, maple neck, ebony fretboard, Spurzel locking tuners on this awesome reverse headstock, EMG pickups, that's an 85, that's an 81. These two pots, these two knobs here are both volume actually, each one controls one of the pickups, no tone here. That's a three-way switch, two pneumatic bridge with string through. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, graphite nut, uh, the fretboard, there's 22 frets. I mean, I would have preferred 24 frets. I mean, why have 22 when you can have 24? That's just me, but anyways, I digress. The fretboard radius is 12 inch to 16 inch, so it's a compound radius, gets flatter as you go further up the fretboard. And the scale length is 25.5 inches, which also happens to be the same length as my P. All right, everyone, there you have it. My demo and review of my 2008 Matt Tuck Jackson Rhodes V that I have brought back to life into playing condition. If you have one of these guitars, leave me a comment down below to let me know which one you got and how you like it. I think they're pretty awesome. I'm on the lookout for the black one and the silver sparkle so I can complete the set. They do come up locally for me every so often, not common, but every so often. But when they do, a lot of the time they're really expensive, so I haven't really pulled the trigger yet. I'm hoping I can hold out and maybe one day find one for a decent price to add to the set. But uh, yeah, if you like this video uh, and you like this guitar and you like the tones, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And remember, stay safe and stay heavy. See you in the next video.